Roland Zoo 5050 formula caramel macchiato. The formula is the same, new flavor. All right, time to test this baby out. I'm excited. We already got it in the shaker cup. I haven't mixed it just yet. We're gonna see how easy it shakes, mixes up, and uh, we're gonna give it a nice little taste test. And just for all the ingredient junkies out there, boom. Give it some good shakes. There's no shaker bouncer thing in there to help it mix. This is straight up almond milk and protein. And just look at that. Look at God, it mixes right up. I, I don't want to spill it. Oh, it smells great. Time for the taste test. Here we go. Mixed 10 out of 10. Smells delicioso. Cheers. Mm. Christ. Woo! Oh, oh my God. They nailed the protein flavors. They've nailed the protein flavors. Holy. It's, it's, oh, I'm smiling. I wasn't even happy before this. I'm honestly in the I'm just kidding. Damn, they nailed the protein better than any other supplement. Not saying, not saying. Apollon hasn't nailed, you know, their BCAAs, their pre-workout, especially Hooligan, on their uh, flavor of their supplements. It's just like, I think the protein is just like ahead of the game. I don't really know. Damn, this is so creamy. It mixed so well. There's no chunks. Um, and it tastes like coffee. If I'm going to Starbucks, I don't get caramel. I'm more like a French vanilla type of guy. But honestly, you don't even like, it, it doesn't even bother me, man. This is good. You guys know that I don't rate like my flavors 10 out of 10 because I just feel like that's just being like, I don't know, I feel like just being a little dramatic. I think nothing's perfect. So I'm gonna rate this a 9.7 out of 10. 9.725 for the Caramel Macchiato 50-50 Formula X. This flavor is actually, it's just delicious. It's so good. It's so, it mixes so well. I, I feel like I'm trying to sell it, but I'm really just being honest. Like, I'm honestly, this is probably the best flavored protein I've ever had. This is compared, like, neck and neck with the uh, peanut butter cookie, but. Dude, this shit is good, man. So smooth, so smooth. <sighs> Paul Nutrition, you already know what's up. Ooh. Alright, so every day besides Ooh. every day besides the assassin because I'm all out of hooligan, take a scoop, scoop or so with a monster because I'm psycho, right? Enigma, I'm almost out of the new flavor. So I've been taking let's go to my more of my stack, right? Just have it all saved up. Taking the Enigma, the old formula pineapple, right? Putting a full ass scoop into here. It's delicious. And I'll be taking oh arginine. Uh, on the big pump days, right? Glucosamine, whenever I feel like I'm like having like some like uh, tender, tender issues, like my shoulder a few weeks ago, for instance. Got my creatine monohydrate, been taking that every day uh, with my pre workout. And then we still got the chainsaw. I've been just trying to, I've just honestly been trying to ration the fuck out of this because it's going fast. I got a few scoops left, so I'm gonna save it for like when I'm like beating for this flavor. Uh, raspberry lemonade is so good. So if you haven't got your hands on that, Definitely try that out. Like the old formula, there's uh, what is it? Strawberry margarita, and then I still got this. I'm not a big fan of the coconut lime. That's why I even didn't even opened up that seal. But yeah, I used to be mixing Enigma, the post workout, with the chainsaw inside of my water jug. But uh, I just been taking the old formula right now because I'm trying to ration the left of my new formula Enigma, my the new formula of the Enigma and the chainsaw. I like to mix them, but I just try to save it. I was trying, I'm just trying to save it, but uh. Today we're about to hit the gym, and as you guys know, it's freaking a little bit chilly in the gym nowadays, so I gotta pick between my sweaters. And I like wearing a sweater or a hoodie in the gym because, well, it keeps you nice and warm, you feel good, and it honestly gives you a sick ass pump when you're like super, when you get like super hot and you get that sweat, and then you can take off the sweater and you have a sick ass pump too. That's kinda why. Even though I'm not at a public gym, it doesn't really matter how good my pump is, I just, I just wanna look at myself. You know what I mean? So, but I hit the gym, and as I promised you guys, um, I'm gonna be showing you my bench progress. My incline bench press progress. I think the last time, I don't even know if I went up to 200 pounds. I don't think so. It was like the first initial like tryout. I haven't touched a barbell bench in like since post-surgery on my pec. 
I'm about to show you what we got, and I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna. I have a, I have a number in my head, but I don't want to spoil it yet, just in case I'm like not feeling it totally. But you're gonna see how far I came over the past, like not even like a month of like my bench prior. It's 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 getting brazy. You can see that shit. You can see that shit in my chest. That shit ain't no lie. What the? Hell? Uh, going with the baggy blue Nike. I didn't want to wear it in the gym because it's honestly like a nice go out, whatever sweater, but I'm gonna do laundry today anyway, so don't matter.
Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, 130 calories, 24 grams of protein, and three grams of fat. All right, guys, we got the brand new formula. No, not formula. We got the brand new flavor of the... Fuck. Why is it so slippery? I need scissors. Damn it. 